Hello, my name is Archibald Chesterfield III. I'm a YouTube entertainer and celebrity, and I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program fuckers and today I'd like to talk about my friend's experience buying a Panerai and uh, this is my good friend Clyde. Clyde is the guy I do some Saturday, well Friday American time, Saturday Aussie time live shows with and Clyde was after a Panerai Luminar Logo 000, the Pam 000, and uh, he, he started looking around for one. And, you know, it's something that I was always a bit skeptical of because there are so many dodgy Panerais around there. You want to be super, super careful. You've got to be careful. And, you know, he, he really did his due diligence. He, he was looking around for a, a Pam and he found one he found one on ebay as you do you find one on ebay and he started checking them out he started doing his due diligence and uh this is a bit hard because how do you verify your pam is correct because panerai themselves they won't make any comment the store won't make any comment the store just says Make sure you buy it from an official Panerai channel and you'll be fine. Well, it's a bit bit harder than that because we're bargain shoppers. We don't want to pay fucking retail. We don't want to pay retail. We want, we want the deal. We want the meal deal combo deal, fuckers. So he, he, he started looking around and I said to him, look, the most important thing is if you're getting a Panerai, Get a box papers and try and get one with the receipt. Get the original receipt. Because, you know, a lot of the paneristi, the paneristi, they are very, very fickle fuckers. Fickle fuckers, fickle, fickle fuckers, fick, fickle fuckers, fickle fuckers. That's a fickle fuckers. So he actually, he did the right thing. He did his due diligence. And then he, um... He actually rang the store who it, it was sold through. And I got to tell you, you know, Clyde is a great guy. He really does love his Panerai he's bought. And what do I think of it? Well, you know, I, I think myself there, he paid about $3,400, which isn't terrible buying. It really isn't terrible buying. And I, I got to tell you the truth there. I'm really, I'd like to add a fifth watch. And uh, I'd like to add a Pam, Pam 111. You know, I think that's kind of my kind of sweet spot. And, you know, they, they are a really cool watch. They're really cool. Prices are a little high still, I think, for the Pam 111. I think they need to drop a bit. I like. Clive's price. Clive got a good price. He paid thirty, thirty-four hundred bucks, thirty-four hundred dollars for a um, a Pam zero 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 logo, which is pretty good buying actually. I gotta hand it to him. He 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 did well, and he's done his due diligence. He made sure a box papers receipt. He checked it out on the forums. Clive is a. Uh, a defense attorney. He's seen a lot of shifty fuckers in his time. He's seen a lot of shifty fuckers. And it's a very important thing. You, he, he said to me, he said, you know, buying a Panerai has been a really big experience to him. He said, you know, 
you take it in somewhere and they say, hey, have a look at this. This is a real Panerai. You know, like, like there's so many fakes around in the marketplace. And I, I said to him, I said, Clyde, don't, don't get too carried away here. It's a Panerai for fuck's sake. It's a Panerai. Don't get too <coughs> carried away, Clyde. But, you know, it, it does make a lot of sense there. Buying a used pre-owned Panerai. I mean, the market has collapsed. The used market for Panerai is not what it used to be. It is, it is really, really changed. And I got to tell you, when something is so fashionable, it's trendy and cool, I don't like that shit. I want things that have, you know, they're not trendy. That's what I love. I love it when they're out of fashion, when they're out of fashion, like Archie Luxury himself, very much out of fashion. So I got to hand it to Clyde. He did his due diligence. He did his searches. He spoke to me. He, uh, even though I brushed him off and said, oh, why don't you buy a Rolex? What else can you get, Clyde? Come on, man. Don't buy. I really, he really did his due diligence and he got 3,400 bucks for a Panerai. Isn't the end of the world. He, I, I think his money's safe. His money's safe. And I, I kind of, it might be the time to start getting into Panerai when every other fucker is getting out. It's like the stock market. You go in when everyone's selling. You sell when everyone's buying. So uh, if the market is going cactus for Panerais, maybe it's time to jump in. And I'm seriously considering it. I'd seriously consider it, Pam. I do like them. I do like them. And uh, I think box papers, that's one of the watches where it is really crucial to have. Box and papers, you want to have this stuff. So, uh, Panerai, i got to hand it to Clyde. It was a really good buy. Would I rather buy an Explorer 2 or a Pam? Well, I'd prefer to have the Explorer 2, but Clyde's already got an Explorer 2. And I kind of think it is a unique diver. They are a cool, big, fuck-off sort of piece. Like, for a big, girthy guy like me, you can't go wrong with a Pam on your wrist. So Clyde did a lot of research on it. He went on to many forums. He did his homework, checked the price, Chrono24, he checked out the pricing, got a good deal, spoke to the guy, got it verified that that actually had been sold by that dealer, which, ooh, I must admit, he's, he's a tenacious little fucker. And <coughs> I think he's bought reasonably well. 3400 US dollars for a pre-owned Panerai Logo 000. Can't really go wrong with that. It is a cool watch. I mean... Whether you like Panerai or not, I don't think you're going to lose terribly much at that sort of margin. So, um, i got to tell you, Clyde, I salute you. I think you did the right thing. You did your homework. You don't always, Clyde doesn't always listen to what I say. He doesn't always listen. But when he does, you know, he takes my advice. He chrono 20 would it, insisted on box papers, and uh, he verified it. And he, he's a tenacious He's a tenacious fucker, and I think he's bagged himself a bargain. I really do think Clyde has bagged himself a really good dive watch, a bargain. And best of all, he's happy. So I got to hand it to you, Clyde. Well done, big boy. Well done. Well done. And that's, that's the way we want to do things. We want to facilitate, help people make the right choices. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of Clyde's new watch. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece. We adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spend $5,000 
is like if you put money in the safe deposit box and one or two years from now you will keep having your five thousand dollars we have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together but makes me feel i doing what i supposed to do it's not a question of money it's my passion jewelers on time simply the best